<laughs> All right. Players Only Podcast. We are here today to talk about uh, the state of celebrity boxing. Um, I I haven't ever did any boxing. You know, I just spectated here and there, I guess. Uh, Austin here yeah. is more more into boxing. Uh, yeah. You know, obviously we're going to be talking about celebrities uh, that I've known as long as most people. Um, yeah. And then I, I guess I bring more of that casual view. Um, right to some of this so obviously a week ago uh you know we just had the the double header uh ksi tommy and yep. dylan dan and slogan paul uh you, you want to start us off with your thoughts uh well let, let's start off with this right so it's uh it's been almost 10 years or whatever since i was actually doing like the boxing thing right i've had it yeah, I had a couple of little amateur fights and stuff like that. Uh, I trained a little bit here and there. Uh, so it's not like we're coming from talking from nothing, right? We, You know, you watch more and I've done it. Uh, and then, you know, we have our rough and rowdy background a little bit too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, but just right off the bat, uh, I don't know. The KSI fight was kind of boring. Uh you got a little screwed here and there with the holding stuff. Uh, and then the, the Logan Paul fight is just stupid. Uh, putting a UFC fighter in the ring when he, all he does is train UFC, <laughs> even mm-hmm. when he's preparing for boxing, is stupid. Logan Paul putting a UFC fighter on the ground and then wailing on him still, and then that triggers the UFC response, stupid. Uh, so mm-hmm. the whole DQ thing was dumb uh i know dylan dennis is still on twitter uh doing his usual little bullying stuff so and still uh, doing podcasts and stuff yep yeah so it, it's kind of just stupid <laughs> uh if anything i know you have a little bit of a different take on this but logan paul should kind of just stay in his lane keep doing the wwe thing because he gets way more uh, publicity, way, way more praise. Yeah, you know, way more WWE. positive publicity. Yeah, doing that. Yeah, everyone's always so uh, amazed. I don't, I don't watch a lot of it. You probably catch more yeah. of the, what he does on there, but His yeah, I, I, I can't imagine like boxing people really liked it in his post game interview when he's talking about going over to WWE. I mean, it just yeah. leaves a sour taste in my mouth. Um, right. You know, like Brock Lesnar at the end of his UFC career, did he say anything? You know, after a fight about going to WWE, like, I mean, right. I guess that's that's a little bit more extreme, but I don't know that kind of the same thing. Yeah, there's that. And look, I grew up with wrestling. You know, I still I watch it, especially now, now and then with Lucas because he's at that age where he can appreciate and enjoy the wrestling aspect of it. But you're going from boxing, which is a legitimate fighting, to you know, to knock people out essentially, to fake fighting, but you know, with yeah. a lot more acrobatics, a lot more entertainment-wise versus boxing. So to kind of promote that and kind of go back and forth is kind of stupid. Uh, the Brock thing, he did it perfectly, right? He kept them separate, right? Uh, he was still his uh, character or whatever going, going back and forth. But Brock is insane as it is. So <laughs> there is that. Uh, I don't know. And Logan Paul kind of just bugs me when he the way he kind of goes back and forth. And I feel like he only did it or KSI since they're business partners and all that. And uh, uh, just so you know, Mikey's Discord. Uh, <laughs> yeah. We're doing this during Monday Night Football for everyone watching. <laughs> Addison, two touchdowns. <laughs> uh, <Uh-oh. laughs> um, <laughs> but anyway, uh, I don't know, the, the celebrity boxing in general, right, as a whole, kind of bugs me and it kind of it goes in waves uh whether or not it's actually relevant or not uh something i'm sure you're going to want to talk about the ap levion bell fight 
went completely under the radar. Nobody cared. Everybody talked about when it first was kind of a thing, and then nobody cared about it when it actually happened. You know, so. Uh huh. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, so right after the fight, uh, KS or Logan Paul again, you know, says the WWE stuff, wants to go after the USA title, (laughs) which just sounds again, so dumb. Uh, you know, we're talking about someone with a residence in Puerto Rico, so he does, you know, can dodge uh, a lot of taxes, but he loves the country anyways. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, then, then he praises God after, you know, it was a big deal the George Janko leaving his podcast for because yeah. he like brought up religion and stuff, and I don't know that that's just cringy. Um, yeah. yeah, and then the actual match. Uh, so the boxing people say Logan Paul is a big counter puncher, and Dylan Dennis made him look kind of dumb because he didn't throw a lot of punches. Um, yeah. So where where are you two on on the on the trash talk with Dylan Dennis? Uh, obviously talking about uh, Nina. Yeah. Uh, so trash talk is is cool. Trash talk is what makes things interesting, right? Uh, mm-hmm. Kind of just the celebrity boxing world in general. I mean, let's be real. Besides rough and rowdy, you don't watch any other boxing besides some of the celebrity stuff, right? For in general. Uh, like right. the number one boxer in the world right now. Do you know who it is even? Canelo. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but like besides that, uh, I mean, how how many like true boxers do you know that you can you yeah. name five? But, but even or... even like Canelo, I only know it because Jake Paul is always talking about. Oh, I want to. He always right. yeah because of Jake Paul. Right. Oh, sorry, so. Sorry. I, yeah, but all right I mean, after that, I can't I can't name a whole lot. Triple G, yeah, Tyson Fury, I guess. Yep, Deontay wow. Wilder, just you know, very right. very top of the yeah the big the, social you know, pyramid. Guys, yeah, for the most part. Uh, and the thing is, is the celebrity boxing has kind of kept boxing still relevant to an extent. Uh, yeah. so it, it's good for the sport, but it's also bad for the sport in the terms of what, uh, Dylan Dennis has kind of done. Like th- this UFC guy who's going to talk over the line kind of trash, right? The, the bringing in the Nina's thing is a little over the line, right? It, it was funny at first and then he kind of just kept doing it and doing it. And he's still doing it even after he lost. It's just it's like, all right, there's a, there's a line. He's crossed it, and he keeps crossing it. And even in his comments now on Twitter, it's like, dude, are you really still kind of going on doing this? <laughs> and yeah. it, it's a little old. It used to be something where you go to Twitter to see the next post or whatever, but now it's like, all right, dude, whatever. Now, you know? now, like the thing is though, I don't, I don't like the lawsuit because it, yeah. it just makes me, it makes like Logan look like a crybaby almost. Yep. Cause, but at the same time, it sold the fight. Like, yep. all anyone was talking about last couple of months, you know, so. Right. Well, the thing is, too, is I feel like the lawsuit is as fake as the fight. I don't really think this lawsuit's going to go too much anywhere, unless Logan can really make some cash off this lawsuit. It's not, I mean, they're, they're millionaires at the end of the day. Who. They don't yeah. care. It's just what's going to keep it talking to potentially for this rematch to happen or whatever actually happens. Because at the end of the day, Logan's won one fight. That's it. Right? Yeah. Uh, and it's just because of, of Dylan Dennis and, and all that stuff. So uh, I'm still kind of one of those guys that thinks that this whole thing is kind of still a little, little rigged uh, as it is. So... Yeah. How about yeah. how about you? Uh, as far as just, the, the trash talking and in the state with so, Logan and stuff. So again, I I didn't like I didn't like the lawsuit. I think yeah. again, if it continues after the fight, yeah, then I then I don't like it because you know move on, show some kind of respect, whatever. But 
Oh yeah. man, before before it was selling the fight, it was a big yep. buzz. And like you know, my understanding nothing he was showing was like nude or you nope. know, like anything like that. So I think there was one it, it didn't yeah, really uh, that was photoshopped anyway. What was that? I think he showed one thing that was nude, but it was Photoshop. It wasn't even actual like oh. actually her. Yeah. Yeah, so then maybe then it's like a maybe that or crosses maybe or slander the line. or something, but yeah, um, yeah, uh, it's it's a fine line, right? Uh, on a lot of these things, it's a really really fine line that you gotta have to to watch. And I, I feel like he just crossed it one or two times, and uh, whether it was something staged by Logan or not, you know. Yeah, let's yeah. let's talk about that. So again, the the bodyguards getting in at the end of the match. <laughs> Yeah. What percentage do you give that was stage versus not stage? <laughs> Eighty five. Yeah. I was I was about to say ninety. Or there was some kind of like, hey, if he does anything at the end of the fight, you know, get in there and and then yeah. maybe Dale and Danis' side just reacted to, you know, Logan's side doing that, but Or it was something like uh the fight was going as planned and then when Dylan fell and Logan just kept kind of kept going, like the the switch clicked, <laughs> and Dylan and the security's like, "All right, this fight's about to get real, so let's let's get in and end this real quick," yeah. uh, type of thing. So I feel like there's a little bit there could have been a little bit of that too, because um, I don't know if you remember, but like when Logan was fighting Mayweather, Mayweather was holding him up past the fight, you know, because he was knocked out a couple times yeah. to keep the fight going. So. There's there's a little bit of that too. Yeah, they gotta they gotta get the payday. They gotta go all the rounds. Yep. Um. So let's talk about the other one now. Uh, Tyson Fury or Tommy Fury and uh, KSI. Yep. So uh, initially, I actually thought KSI should have won. Uh, looking a little bit closer and just seeing what some of the other people said. Uh, now now I kind of agree with the, the Tommy ruling. Uh, when they weren't constantly holding or in the clinch, as the boxing yeah. people would say, then, yeah, again, that the non-clinching time, I thought uh, KSI still outdid them, got the better shots. Um, but, yeah, I mean, that's, that's why I just could never buy these fights. There's just way too much holding. Like, it's not, it's not fun to watch. Um, yeah. And you know Jake Paul, he he does it too. Like he he's up there, you know, with anybody for holding his opponent. So yeah, unfortunately, that's one of those dumb things with boxing is uh, is you able to do that to an extent. Like the ref is supposed to pull you off after like a minute or whatever. But I mean, it's there in UFC too. You clinch and all that too. So. Yeah, I think it's just one of but, those, you know. But that's but that's different. That's different. I think <laughs> UFC different sport. A little bit. It, it's a it's a little different in one aspect because sometimes in the clinch, that's when you're going for the takedown, uh, for UFC rather than for boxing, it's to catch your breath type of thing or yeah. or to get out of a bad bad situation. So it, it can mm-hmm. be used strategically, but in these celebrity ones, it's it's overused. It's abused and it just yeah. it ruins it. Right. Um, as far as the KSI fight, I'm a little biased because I actually really like KSI. Right. I think he's actually like. <laughs> so you think KSI genuine... won- should have won? Well, the same. No, uh, <laughs> I I think that he actually fights more legitimate than somebody like Logan. Uh that his emotion, especially after the fight, was actually like legitimate. Uh, yeah. it, it was a very boring fight, though, and I, I couldn't even watch it. <laughs> it was it was too boring. The the holdings and stuff like that. I I couldn't do it. Uh, so yeah, I I didn't watch all of them beginning to end. Just just most of both of them. But right, they were both yeah. boring. Yeah, I just watched the highlights. Primarily for the KSI one, just because I, I it was just too much, too much clinching. Uh, yep. wasn't enough fighting. Uh, now, K- 
KSI is somebody who is somebody who has gone from uh, six months ago. He was actually pretty fat uh, to now he, he pretty freaking ripped uh, and stuff. So I, I give him credit for for the shape he was in and the the effort he was putting in at the very least. Uh, but he, he's not there yet. I think in terms of the YouTubers, uh, it's Jake and KSI 1 and 2. Uh, who's, who's 3 is kind of a toss-up because they all, they're all they all ass. This is a huge drop yeah. <laughs> uh, from there. I mean, fucking KSI is here and Logan's down here as far as boxing and stuff like that goes. There's a reason KSI won both times. Yeah, I, I agree with you. I think uh, in the celebrity world, yeah, Jake and KSI are one and two. A lot of people ask for that match, though. And we were just talking about all the holding, clinching, whatever term you want to use. And that's my greatest fear is that it's just going to be, you know, just a lot of that, just holding each other. Yeah. Eight rounds of holding or six rounds or whatever. The. Yeah. I feel like if that fight ever truly does happen, I don't think it ever will because it, it would be a legitimate boxing match because KSI legitimately hates Jake. Uh, and Jake chooses to avoid KSI at every route. So if that fight were to happen, it'd be Jake is going to be the one holding. I feel like he would actually be afraid of KSI and KSI is going there to actually kick his ass. Uh, so I, I agree, but I feel like you would see a different side of KSI than you did off of this fight. Yeah, I mean, okay, if, if yeah, if they legitimately fight, yeah, then yeah. then it could be good. But I'm just nervous. It'll be ninety right. percent holding. <laughs> um, but I feel like it would be something like if if Jackson and Falcon weren't as scrawny as they are, right? And I got into a ring okay. with Jackson and Falcon, right? One of the two. Yeah. I would be the KSI and they would be Jake because they would be running and I'd be <laughs> going in for the knockout right <laughs> off the bat. Hey, I, yeah. It's not a perfect uh, perfect uh, scenario in the head, but that, that's basically what you would see <laughs> in the ring. That's why the fight will never happen. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> So now, uh, uh, what, what do you think of uh, what do you think of Tommy? Uh, so I thought after the Jake win, there's actually is actually kind of impressive. Um, yeah. Now after the KSI win again, just without with all the holding, he didn't prove anything. No, Man, he's he's kind of exactly where I thought he was going to be. He's mediocre at best. Uh, he's not going to be his brother at the end of the day. He's just not his brother. He never will be. Yeah. Yep. Um, now, uh, kind of brought up again the AP Le'Veon Bell fight. Le'Veon Bell yep. had another fight. <laughs> he got beat real bad after that. Um, I don't know. I'm just trying to think. Uh, you know, what other what other fights do we want to see, if any, besides Rough and Rowdy? I'd love to I see mean, AP get in there again. I would love to see that. Uh the Musk and Zuckerberg fight come out, yeah. but I mean that was more UFC versus boxing yeah. Yeah. Uh, and stuff. But that I mean that fight will never happen. But mm -hmm. that, that'd be a great great fight to come out uh, and stuff. But I mean I don't think it'll happen because one Musk a little older uh, and Zucker he actually fucking he knows how to fight. No, yeah. whatever. He's like a Muay Thai black belt or something like that. So, it just won't happen. Yeah. Um, I, I think a lot of that was just for attention. Oh, 100%. I mean, yeah. yeah, Elon Musk is the, the biggest troll on the internet. So, bigger than the trolls we play with on fantasy football. <laughs> so <laughs> or basketball. <laughs> Great. Uh, so, you know, I, otherwise, I know that there has been some, like, actual... Hollywood celebrities that have come out and said that they, they wouldn't mind going into the ring. Uh, I just don't ever see it actually happening. 
Yeah. Um, Tar- you just made me think of something when you said that. Uh, I saw a clip. Aiden Ross is opening the boxing, but he wants uh, Kai. Uh, are, are I don't. Like I don't know the height. I, th- I think they're. Were, I think they're cool with each other. Both streamers, yeah. huge. Um, I don't know height and weight, um, but uh, I I can't I, see Aiden actually fighting. <laughs> Well, they, Aiden is a little fatter, uh, yeah. and Kai is super scrawny but tall. Uh, but I'm sure Kai yeah. is actually has has a little bit more muscle. Uh, Aiden is just a attention whore. Uh, he probably yeah. wants to get back in uh, in uh, Andrew Tate's good graces or something. That's why he's bringing it yeah. up. But uh, it, that that'd be a fight that it would be a hundred percent rigged. Because there's no way Aiden is gonna get into a ring and get and get his ass kicked in front of everybody. No way. Yeah. So like, there was a sparring video where him and if you know his buddy Neon, like two v one someone, and like they got their asses whooped. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and 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 I feel like right, he do sparring. You know, make a little. You know, because then it's clippable, whatever. It's embarrassing, but right, a full-on match, yeah, uh, destroys ego. Right, but that, <laughs> and then also like with him getting kicked out of TwitchCon uh, this past weekend, he was like genuinely like hurt and stuff. That like, he got kicked out of TwitchCon. I was like, dude, you knew you were gonna get kicked out. Don't even try to play that game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Someone made uh, a freaking video too that they were switching a kick at twitchcon too i guess a trailer I, I didn't recognize the streamer but yeah so i guess twitchcon this year was a joke yeah it always is but um so, so yeah. uh you brought up you brought up andrew tate so let's uh let's dive into that quick celebrity boxing uh would you rather watch uh ksi versus jake or andrew tate versus jake Uh, it would have to be KSI for his Jake only because Andrew Tate is just a kickboxer. Uh, I feel like it's a completely, it'd be like Dylan Dan is trying to switch up and, and go boxing. It's just, it's a completely different thing, especially with how long Andrew Tate's been trained as a kickboxer. It's just like the habit is going to be there. Um, like when, Everybody was scared with uh, Conor McGregor in the Floyd Mayweather fight. Everybody's like, Mayweather's going to piss him off, and Conor McGregor's just going to fucking kick him in the head. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. You know, so, I, and I feel like the, the KSI would actually want to, is going to go after Jake. So, uh, that, that's the only reason why. I'm sure you're the opposite. Yeah, yeah, of course. I'd rather see the Andrew Tate uh, versus Jake. Yeah. Um. Uh, yeah. Just because again, I, I mean, just, the KSI one, I'm worried about a holding again, and yeah, yeah I mean, Andrew Tate, he'll put on a show. I Both just feel fight, like you, the internet would explode if Jake beat Andrew Tate. <laughs> like, oh yeah, let's be real here. <laughs> well, I mean, it, the only way that I see Jake beating Andrew Tate is Jake is one of those lucky hits and like right yeah. here or something like that pisses him off and Andrew goes into survivor mode and kicks him in the face and it's an automatic DQ <laughs> Jake wins mm-hmm. and that's round one round two so that that's the only reason I, I would say the KSI one because that, that's how quick that fight would be over because of something like that um yeah um uh, uh, what about Otherwise, what about if they did Battle of the Brothers, Tate's versus Paul's? I've never seen Tristan fight. Has he been in the ring before? Yeah. So Andrew was a four-time kickboxing champion, and Tristan was just once. Okay. Uh, I feel like. Now, I, I haven't seen them in a while. They haven't been popping up recently. Yeah, um, they've been quiet. 
Right, which is yeah, with the stuff popping up about them is kind of interesting. Uh, I don't know. I feel like obviously the Tates would win. I feel like, but it might be a decent match. Yeah, I yeah again that one would be huge. Now Tristan, they would never fight because he's he's a little bit bigger than Andrew. He's six four. Yeah. Uh, you know, they they got to have the height and weight advantage over everybody, or the height advantage, I guess, weight, you know, typically yep. the same. But, um, yeah, I mean, otherwise, I think that pretty much does it, talking about uh, celebrity boxing. Um, yeah. Hopefully there's more. Yeah. Well, I, I, can, I can bring up, too, I'd love to see uh, Ludwig do his smash or chess boxing. Um, <laughs> that was a great event last year. Yeah, I think it's already been a year since yep. he did that. Um, a lot of the people on the chess side, I didn't know, but you know, not a lot of holding. It was it was like rough and rowdy, but they right. got extra time to get their win. So yeah, yeah. I, I'd rather see that than another one of the Pauls <laughs> boxing right. events. Right. <clears throat> At the end of the day, the celebrity stuff. It's good for boxing. It's just not great to watch. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a that's a good way to put it. Uh, yeah, let's end it there on that note. All right.